morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am deeply saddened by the passing on of the second president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Daniel Toroichi Charapmoy, into eternal light and rest. His life and work touched everyone of us in a lasting and impactful way. Because of his love for the people of Kenya and his unplugging patriotism, he sacrificed his personal comfort and happiness to secure stability and unity at all times in the history of our country. As a teacher evangelist who improbably and reluctantly entered political leadership and excelled in it, Mze has no time, had no time to prepare or learn outside the job. His genuine concern, selflessness, loyalty, and sincerity however, enabled him to acquire a staying power and attract the support of millions of patriots. We will never forget Mze's legendary personal discipline and determination to serve God all the days of his life and the lessons as well as the example he has set for us must enable us to strive to excel in our time. He taught and mentored many into leadership, myself being one of them. Despite several constraints imposed by local, regional, and international circumstances, President Moy determined and determination ensured that Kenya never stumbled or slipped into the precipice that engulfs so many other nations. Instead, he strengthened the, bo the post-independence Kenya, consolidated our sense of nationhood, and expanded public service to reach all parts of Kenya, including the historically marginalized. He was passionate about spreading education to the marginalized communities, and his devotion to the girl child is a blessed legacy that will live with Kenya forever. It is now impossible to imagine a time when high dropout rates, early pregnancy and marriage, and rampant cult child circumcision were an overwhelming norm in this country. Against the expectations of many, President Moy led the reforms that enabled Kenya to enjoy vigorous de facto and de jure multi-party democracy as well as civil and political freedoms. He submitted himself to presidential term limits, graciously entering a dignified retirement. God has been kind to him as he enjoyed many peaceful years outside the presidency of Kenya. Mze Moi's life and service is an undeniable legacy of success against daunting odds. It is also a challenge to our generation to rise up to the great responsibility of serious nation building, to have the courage to face our challenges without blinking, and to use his fine example to take Kenya forward. It is sad to say goodbye to a man whose legacy we all feel, and we thank the almighty God for the gift of Mze Moi's leadership. In this sad moment of great loss, therefore, let us still rejoice because of what he did for his countrymen and women. We pray for God to comfort the entire Moi family with divine solace, as well as the nation of Kenya. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you very much. Maybe at this point in time, I would also want to say that because of the enormity of what has befallen us as a country with the passing on of President Moy, the head of public service has taken charge to provide leadership on the process 
that His Excellency the President has directed that will lead to a state funeral for our late president. And all other details will be communicated by government in due course. Thank you very much.